हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम माय चैनल कोर एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डिजाइन पैटर्न्स अवेलेबल इन एसपी डॉट नेट कोर एंड यू नो दैट लॉट्स ऑफ डिजाइन पैटर्न्स एक्चुअली अवेलेबल इन एसपी डॉट नेट कोर बट फ्यू आर मेनी यू नो दैट इट्स अ टॉप यू नो सो देर आर मेनी डिजाइन पैटर्न अवेलेबल इन एसपी डॉट नेट कोर एंड दे कैन बी यूज टू सोल्व वेरियस सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन प्रॉब्लम Here are some of the most commonly used design patterns in ASP.NET Core. So first of all, uh, just I want to uh, define dependency in injection pattern. This pattern is used to provide mechanism for injecting dependencies into a class, you know, rather than creating them inside the class. Uh, focus again. This pattern is used to provide mechanism for injecting dependencies into a class. Dependencies into a class. Rather than create uh, creating them inside the class, okay. So ASP.NET Core has built-in support for DI, which can be configured using the built-in container or the third-party container you can use, such as AutoPack or Ninjact. So these are the diagram. Uh, here you can say that DI container, like uh, uh, you can say that uh, it's a AutoPack or Ninjact or uh, in built-in uh, uh, DI container. that is a dependency resolver and product service better uh, product services that give me i product service in the di container and response back to the home controller that is take product service okay very good uh, to uh, design pattern and that next one is the repository pattern this class uh, or you can say this pattern is used to abstract the data access layer from the rest of the application again focus This pattern used to abstract the data access layer from the rest of the application by providing a set of interfaces for accessing data. This makes it easier to change the data storage technology without affecting the rest of the application. Okay, so uh, here you can see that no repository where you cannot use any repository like presentation layer that is controller, business logic layer the like the services and direct uh, services is directly accessed to the database like db context. db context is also a repository pattern, but you can say Uh, if you can use uh, any business logic that is implemented on the basis of that data access layer, so that is the business logic layer. But uh, with repository pattern, you can say that presentation layer is a controller, business logic layer that is services, data access layer that is repositories, and then a database. So data access layer is responsible to access the data by using the application DB context. If you are using uh, EF and Business logic layer that I'm mean into implemented from your repositories and uh, uh, rep uh, that services are used by the controller that is the repository pattern and with repository or and the unit of work pattern that is the presentation layer, business logic layer or the services layer. But unit of work pattern is actually applied on the repositories. So repositories, repositories and lots of repositories. If you have then wrap up the repositories uh, like a unit of work. and that unit of work is used to access uh, uh, the data uh, in the service layer you can say that is the unit of work pattern so the next one is also a unit of work pattern if you uh, focus on the diagram then you will uh, then you will use unit of work pattern if you have multiple repositories okay this pattern is used to manage the transactional boundaries of a set of related operations it ensure that all the operations are either committed or roll back as a single unit of work okay that is the single unit of work uh, or roll back as a single unit of work the next one is decorator pattern what is the decorator pattern this pattern is used to add behavior to an object uh, focus again this pattern is used to add behavior of an object at run time without affecting the behavior of the other object of the same class okay it is commonly used to asp.net core to add cross cutting uh, concerns such as blocking caching and validations so here we have a decorator pattern like i pizza and the plain pizza without uh, focus again the line of this the top line that this pattern used to add behavior add behavior to an object at run time without affecting the behavior of the other class other object of the same class so here we have a i pizza make pizza method get price and pizza decorator we have a mac pizza and the uh, get price that is the pizza decorator so plain pizza that is make pizza and that is used to get price but uh, pizza decorator is used to get make pizza and the get price 
and that is access with the chicken pizza decorator and the papyron eye pizza decorator so here we have add this functionalities to the pizza by the pizza decorator here we have two things that is uh, uh, in the decorator patterns okay so add the behavior uh, at the runtime the next one is the factory pattern uh, factory pattern is also a most popular pattern uh, this pattern is used to create object without exposing the creation logic focus again this pattern is used to create object without exposing the creation logic to the client okay it provide a way to create object of a certain type without the client needing to know the details of how they are created okay so um, without exposing the creation logic to the client okay so here we have a factory method uh, creator factory method credit card factory platinum factory that is the uh, cards you know that concrete creator and these are the con uh, titanium factory and all these are uh, credit card factory class okay so later on i will discuss with the best example uh, on the factory pattern because it's very important uh, design pattern to use it and the next one is the strategy pattern this pattern is used to encapsulate a family of algorithm to make them interchangeable it allow to client to choose the algorithm to be used at the run time it's a basic uh, strategy pattern uh, used to encapsulate a family of algorithm and makes them it is interchangeable that's we have a, a simple uh, diagram of the strategy pattern okay so there is a uh, also a uh, pattern in the sp.net core and the last one is the singleton pattern uh, singleton singleton pattern is also a most popular pattern this pattern is used to ensure that only one instance of a class is created and using throughout the application this can be useful for managing shared resources such as the database connection or configuration settings basically singleton pattern is used where uh, we use uh, in memory database because in memory database we need only single instance at a time entire the application uh, okay so singleton uh, singleton object method one method two method n that will be used of the client a client b client c all these are clients actually use the same object of the class 